All right, now moving into the last game of the weekend, so the Sharks take on the Cheetahs. Garen? Right, you know, I wasn't really impressed by the standard of rugby in this match. You know, on paper, again, it, prom it promised to be a really exciting affair. These two teams have had ding-dong battles in the past. Sharks at home, defending champions, I really expected them to sort of run away. They had a really strong looking bench, but um, hats off to the Cheetahs who haven't been that impressive to date in the Curry Cup. They certainly took it to the Sharks. They led comfortably at halftime and, and even into the second half and it took a very late um, like comeback, if you like, from, from, the, from the Sharks to pull this match out. Some worries for the Sharks in that they're struggling to score tries, it seems, compared to a lot of the other teams. They, I think they only scored one on the night. Um, you know, they struggled in, in Super Rugby to score tries, so they're a far better defensive team than attacking team at the moment. Brad McLeod Henderson, their coach, will hopefully be working on that in, in, in midweek because it could come back to cost them those, those drop bonus points, um, whether they get to host a semi final and potentially a final in this year's tournament. But not, not doom and gloom for, for the Sharks, you know, another four points for them. The Cheetahs were certainly a little bit better. You know, we talked about them perhaps missing out on a semi final yeah. playoff berth. You know, the the fact remains they still did lose the match, so they're not really going to move up the log. So they've still got a lot to play for in this tournament. Rob, what was your take on the game? Uh, Jen, I, I found it a very grim experience. It, it, it wasn't uh, pretty watching at all. Um, it's a sort of match where you know they are struggling to get bums on seats at the Curry Cup. You look at some of the stadiums and it, it's, it's hard to, to fill them. I mean, at Newlands, for instance, uh, uh, quite a disappointing crowd. I think it was officially something like fourteen or 15,000 going for Western Province Lions, which is very disappointing for two really informed teams right up at the top of the table. And the Sharks, of course, as defending champions, uh, you'd think that there'd be a bit more home support. But um, there was a certain sort of restlessness in the crowd. You could sense that nobody was really engaged in the game. Because the Sharks played a, they're still playing, I think, a, a too conservative brand of rugby, uh, not the sort of rugby that's going to bring people through the turnstiles, and maybe something they need to address. They're a funny side because they sometimes do go a little bit flat, um, and I think they're just going through one of those flat spells. They are capable of playing much more dynamic rugby than that, and hopefully that's still to come. Because if it does come, they'll still be a major threat. Because they've now, they haven't played particularly well, but they've won three out of three. Um, so you know, they're, they're sitting uh, second on the log. I think they're only one point behind Western Province, so you could almost say sort of joint top of the log with with Province, which is the perfect place for them to be. Um, so it wasn't all doom and gloom, but they, they nearly lost that game. I mean, there was a, a TMO call where, um, you know, the, the, the cheaters came within an absolute whisker of, of uh, getting the ball onto the whitewash uh, in, in the closing minutes. Then uh, the cheaters then won a tight head from the resultant scrum, but couldn't, couldn't uh, get, get the, uh, the try, which would have given them perhaps a slightly deserved win. But the, the fact is the Sharks won. Um, and that tells you that, this, that they're still a team that you, you can't take lightly. Um, not playing well, but, but winning. Well, Garen, if anyone was at any of the four games we just spoke about and they would like to share their photos with you lovely people at Sport24, how can they do that? Yeah, right. If so, if you were at any of the matches this weekend in South Africa, please send through your pictures to mysport at sport24.co.za and we'll include them in our gallery.